Chet Curtis, Natalie Jacobson, weeknights at 6 and 11. From Fairway Sports World in Natick, our champions Tom Morgan from Revere and Mike Morgan from Lynn take on the Zernikes, Ed Zernike from Webster and John Zernike from Webster on Candlepin Double. I'm Ed Harding, and welcome to Candlepin Doubles. And we believe we have a first for you, brothers against brothers. I, I, I really think it's the first time. You guys, the, the Morgans, you guys bowled against brothers-in-law a couple of weeks back. But now you're breaking the in-law part away, and you're doing it against brothers. So we've been, it was father and son a week ago. It's brothers and brothers. It's a civil war of bowling between the Zernikes and the Morgans. Hey, look, it's even almost, you know, it's kind of the blue and the yellow, you know. It's, it's not even the blue and the gray. I don't know what that's got to do with it anyway. Whichever brother team wins, they'll take home 500 bucks. Whichever brother team doesn't win, they'll take home 300 bucks. We pay you for consecutive marks. We pay you for consecutive strikes. They can earn that during it. And the Morgans have been going on for four weeks in a row. This is their fifth week, so we'll see if they can keep their magic alive. But I want to take some of the pressure off all of our bowling teams. This is the book that Don Riley keeps. He's our erstwhile statistician. Candlepin doubles from 1986 to now, which covers the time that I have been doing candlepin doubles. And he reminds me, through the, through the prompting of Russ Hyde, who did it himself, three strikes in a row by Russ Hyde on Christmas Eve, 1989. So I have seen three strikes in a row. Don't you guys feel good about that? Don't, don't you really feel good about that? I know, it's just like, there's no, there's no pressure on it, so you guys don't even have to worry about it. You know what it is? It was Christmas, I was worried Santa Claus and everything, but you don't want to hear that. You want to see the bowling, <laughs> which is what we'll begin with. But you don't have to worry about three strikes in a row. A very capable computer operator, Al Gilio, is just thrilled to know that I have seen three strikes in a row. <laughs> wake up, Al. Wake up, Al. We're underway this afternoon. is Tom Morgan that starts us today and John Zernike will start for his team it is the cumulative score at the end of two strings of bowling that decides who our champion is perfect spot good try Send it out in the first box for Tom Morgan. It's a six and out of the first box for John Zernike. Throwing two balls in virtually the same spots. Four pin lead. First box, first straight. Just started. No, nine. Oh. It will not go. Nine. Look at that. Tell you what, there's a lot of wood in front of the 10, too. A big fort surrounding the pin. Tom's average is 126, a high single to 196, a high triple to 490. He marks in the second box. John Zernike has an average of 120, a high single of 211, a high triple of 454, and he marks in the second box. Phil with seven. John fills with eight, and he leaves the seven ten with some threads in the middle. Will Mike get it? Yes, and Tom gets it. He does. Brother Mike yelled the encouragement. Brother Tom shook the alley, and it fell down. Here's the effort at the seven ten. That's a good bid. That pin spins six inches further south, and that's down. A nine in the third box for 
John Zernike. There's the bonus ball. Fill it with 10. Fill it with 10. Three marks in a row, 50 bucks. 10. There we go. Fourth box, the hot box here. Both John Zernike and Tom Morgan dropping it. All right, will we see a double from first? Mr. Morgan, no. Now will John Zernike give us a double? No. They both have some help line there. Let's see what happens. Four marks in a row. And that's the fifth box, and that's it for Tom Morgan. What a nice pickup. They both had help. They both picked it up. Great show of sportsmanship. They congratulate each other. Great start to the match. The Zernikes and the Morgans have a great family feud going. They've done five boxes of the first string. The brothers will change over and do some more. But first, we'll do this. Mike and Ed take over. Second half of the first string. Great start. 14 pin lead so far for the team in yellow. Ed Zernike, his first ball of the day. Four horsemen left plus. Mike Morgan is an average of 126, a high single of 188, and a high triple of 474. Ed Zernike has an average of 122, a high single of 200, and a high triple of 465. Three consecutive marks for the Zernikes. There's some bonus money. And a nine for Mike Morgan in the sixth box. Fifteen pin lead through boxes scored for the Morgans. Sayonara. Here he goes. Power. Oh, no. The fill is nine. My heavens. Fill it up almost to the top. The wood was teasing him just a bit. Rolling in front, rolling away. Now it's away. There he goes. There it goes. Four marks in a row for the Zernike team. I tell you what, this, this whole first string has just been dotted with marks. Mike Morgans. Working with a strike, there he goes. Right on. See if it'll hit the seven. Taps it. It fills with seven. A lot of confidence here that this will drop it. Good effort by Mr. Zernike to make it one, two, three, four, five marks in a row. Didn't get them all. Couple of tens. Couple of tens in the eighth box. Five pin lead for Tom and Mike Morgan. We go to the ninth. Then we will do the tenth. And then a whole nother string of bowling to go. The Morgans, four weeks are champions. The Zernikes trying to stop it right there. It's going to take two of them anyway. Will it take a third? Yes. Clean shot at the 10. That one pin there is very much 
in the picture, very much in play. Now it's very much eliminated. So a mark in the ninth box against a seven in the ninth box. Nine is the drop. Here's the fill. Fill it with seven. Will it be eight? It'll be seven, but he's got a lot of help lying there. Oh, Mike Morgan misses that pin. Can't do that. Five pin lead now for the Zernikes. And what will he do here? Oh. Uses it, it's gone. That's the old earthquake shot. The vibration dropped to 10. Doesn't matter. Mike Morgan putting up a nine in the 10th box and the Morgan team with a 135 and they will be trailing as we head to the second string. They're already trailing by six. It'll be more with this. The fill is five and the lead is 11. 11 pin advantage for the Zernikes over the Morgan. We head to the second string. Great first string. 146 to 135. And they're both in position for more bonus money. Stay with us. We have a whole second string to go on Candle and Doubles. Time for the second string. Remember, it's the cumulative score at the end of this that decides who our champion is. And right now, the Zernikes are leading. But it is a wonderful match. Tom Morgan, four horsemen left in the 10. A lot of help lying on the ground. For Ed, he's got it. I'll tell you what, he said, beneficial pinfall. I mean, the, the, where they have fallen has certainly helped him in the match today. Tom Morgan goes out with a 10. So the Zernikes already had an 11 pin lead, which is what it stays, but here's where it'll be stretched. Remind you, 275 will pay off some more bonus money, the cumulative score of 275. They both had strong first strings, which put them in position for that. The fill is five, nine is the drop. 16 pin lead for the Zernikes. Game of inches. Like his brother in the 10th box in the end of the first string, he missed that single pin by an inch. Tom goes back in and goes out with a 10, but it's a disappointing 10 in terms of missing the opportunity to get the extra ball. 16 pin lead, third box, second string. Zernikes leading. Our champions, the Morgans, down. Bang! And then there was one. Maybe in many ways, the shot that Tom Morgan has will help him more. There's, there are two pins standing. And it's at this point in the match that every pin and every ball take on added importance. 16 pin lead. Each man is marked in the third box here, second string. Ned fills his with an eight. Tom fills it with a five. And the lead is inched up to 19 pins. Hello, walk down the alley and mark it again. Okay, here it is. We move to the fifth box, second string. It's the last box barring a tie that these two fellows will bowl today. You just had a quick look at the score. 
John Zernike's marked in a, in a couple of frames here in a row. Three in a row would pay even more bonus money again. He fills the mark in the fourth box with a five. He's pushed his lead up to 20, 26. One by one, Tom's scaring the pins over. Man in need of a mark. So Tom Morgan gets his and sits down and hands the bonus opportunity over to his brother Mike. John Zernike goes out with a nice 10 and hands it over to his brother Ed with a 26 pin lead through boxes scored. Five frames of bowling to go. Fill it with seven. Ed Marks. Which almost compels Mike Morgan to match it. Oh, I'll tell you what. Sometimes they go and sometimes they don't. And it looks like it's going to settle in close enough where he can take a ride at it. <clears throat> take it out. Nice, patient approach. And he goes up with a 10. You see the lead, 19 pins for the Zernikes through the boxes scored. This is a chance for Ed to push it ahead. Fill it with five. Mike has a spare leave. He could mark in this frame. Seven ten, and the wood is there. Now it's falling by one by one. Well, I'll tell you. He needed a mark and didn't get it. Ed Zernike goes out with a nine. Mike Morgan goes out with a 10. 23 pin lead for the Zernikes. Three full frames of bowling left. Just keep the pressure squarely on the shoulders of the Morgans. A mark is a mark. It's not the strike that Eddie threw in the box, but it's a mark. And you see what's happened in the eighth box here in the second string. A strike from Ed Zernike. And a spare from Mike Morgan. The first of the two balls. Now Mike Morgan needs pins to fall. Right on. Yeah, all but one fall. Ed Zernike fills the strike with seven. Mike needs to get the one pin. An eight. Here the ninth box for Ed Zernike. So there we have a 21 pin lead for the Zernikes. Mike Morgan has an extra ball. Ed Zernike's got the lead, first ball. At this point in time, each one of these things, huge.
Right on. Oh. I'll tell you what, this is tightening up and tightening up and tightening up. Now, Ed can't mark in the box, so we won't get it for another ball. This is critical that Mike get it. And look where it settles. How could you, you couldn't position it right in front of the pin any more exact. Look at that. And I'll tell you what, folks, that camera angle is difficult to judge, but it's right in his line. Here he goes. See, you could just see it. You could just see it. That's it. It's over. Wonderful match. Great entertainment. The Zernikes have beaten the Morgans right here on Candlepin Doubles by eight pins. Eight pins. We'll be back and chat in just a minute. I suppose all good things have to come to an end, huh? Sorry that it came to an end, but it was a great match. Yeah, it was fun. They, uh, you know, we missed a couple shots, but yeah. they, they kept the pressure on. Yeah, so you know, it, it, it is a game of inches. You miss it by that much, you That's know? That's what it is. Well, they didn't let up at all, so you have to make every shot. You're not going to make every shot under pressure. It just doesn't happen. 400 it's bucks and our thanks. To great run, guys. Yeah, Thank you. Job. Great entertainment. Job, guys. All right. First of all, tell me who the young lady is. Oh, this is Tara. Tara? How old are you, Tara? Five. Five years old. Tara's five years old. <laughs> well, guys, great match, huh? It was great. Yeah, we. I kind of let him off. The, I let him into at the end. I should have kept the pressure on, but. Um, well, but, a couple bad woods. But you know something? You did. You, you were pretty consistent throughout the whole day. I thought. Huh? Yeah, we were both good. That's good. You're, you're awfully modest. You bowled well. 271, they win, they win, they move on. Will the Zernikes keep marching? Who knows? We hope you stay with us on Candlepin Doubles. I'm Ed Harding. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.